Another day, another stupid Kotaku article. Am I right, guys? Now, look, I, I know I'm going to come across very aggressive, and I probably am. I, I, you know, I can't see the future. I'm not a prophet or you know that kind of stuff, but this makes me furious. Um, I know people will come at me because they'll say, well, Alex, you always say, you know, don't, you know, don't read this stuff. Don't like, it doesn't matter. Nobody cares about it. And then you make videos. So obviously you care. I look at it as like more raising awareness because I think a lot of people need to be aware. But see, even people did message me about this stuff. This is a joke. This is a joke. So what am I talking about? Well, this is a Kotaku article that they posted, I think Saturday, maybe, uh, maybe Sunday. I actually kind of forgot, but they posted Hogwarts legacy lead designer used to run anti social justice YouTube channel now this was floating around the internet they got their likes they got their reach now they got kind of ratio a lot of people were going at them but a lot of people were liking it a lot of people were in support of it and I do want to address those fools in a second okay then we got even more disappointments because even some of my favorite you know uh, you know uh, websites that I go to, to 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 see news even they're picking like uh, push square PlayStation Universe even they're like reposting it they're not really saying anything different they're just reposting it there's a lot to say here. There's a lot to say. This is, this is I don't know if it's going to be a rant. It's going to be me getting pretty upset. And I'm hopefully going to be able to address this in a way that everybody kind of understands. You're all going to see where I'm coming from. And you're going to kind of see the playing field a little bit better, okay? But before I go into it, make sure, as always, you're subscribed. Bell icon turn on. This came from Twitter. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, make sure you do that. Podcast now 15 is my Twitter handle. Link for that's in the description. Or you can just look me up on Twitter. All right, look, it, it's really them, I think, just trying to do a hit piece. That's really what this is, and we'll go over it. So this information was first provided by Did You Know Gaming. And I, by the way, I know people have gotten in trouble for posting the, even like pictures or links to Kotaku articles, so I don't know how you guys are necessarily going to see it. Maybe you won't see it at all. But So there was this podcast, and they highlighted, I guess, what this lead designer did. A screenshot shows a small portion of his YouTube channel with video titles such as The Injustice of Social Justice, uh, In Praise of Cultural Appropriation, and Are Thought Crimes Becoming Real? The latter a reference to George Orwell, or George Orwell's dystopian sci-fi novel 1984. Right wing commenters often use this book's uh, you know often use this book's authoritarian big brother government as a comparison point in their criticisms they said or i guess on his youtube channel he posted a lengthy defense for somebody who had to leave disney after allegations of, of you know certain different things he expressed support for gamergate a movement that fostered harassment against women and other minorities in the gaming industry criticized anita sarkeesian's tropes versus woman okay so look here's the deal i'm done i'm done reading this what Kotaku is mad about is that he doesn't think like them. That's it. Really, now I don't even know if they w went to watch this guy's videos. I don't know if they watched this person's podcast or whatever that discussed it. None of the stuff that I just read out loud. It, okay, now, maybe I guess defending people that had certain like allegations against them. That's more of a risky thing. But, like, look. I'm a Johnny Depp supporter. A lot of people are Johnny Depp supporter. But if you go by the mainstream, like, how does Kotaku feel about that? If I came out there and said, I support Johnny Depp, you know, Amber Heard's a liar, uh, justice for Johnny, all that stuff, would Kotaku, like, smear me? I honestly feel like they would because I feel like they're more in the liberal limelight or just in the Hollywood limelight where they're going to do whatever makes them the most popular with the group of idiots that follow them. And that's the, that's the truth here is that, look, People are getting a little worried. I know somebody messaged me and said, like, you know, like this game is getting like controversy after controversy. What I would say is don't worry whatsoever because the people liking this Kotaku post, okay? That remember we talked Kotaku's done this before. Kotaku brought the presidency and, and, and by the way, being um being like gifted or being able to like afford a PlayStation, you're like a terrible person. Remember, they talked about that in the PS5 review. They mentioned Biden. They mentioned that if you get a PlayStation, man, I mean, you must be a really privileged person. Remember that? They've done so many stupid things before. They've even, they've gone after J.K. Rowling before, right? In fact, remember, when this game was announced, they wrote like an opinion piece of why you shouldn't buy the game because like you're helping J.K. Rowling. These guys, truly, I, I really find it hard to find a different site that's worse than Kotaku. They are the worst. And, and I'm not saying everybody that works there, because I don't know the people that work there, but I, but it just seems like they write some absolutely 
terrible things. They really don't get viewed all that much. And then I bet you they have to write things like this to kind of get people's attention. Because when you don't view them, they're not making money off their ads. They can't pay their workers. Which, by the way, remember, to work at Kotaku, they start minimum wage $75,000. So imagine the person who wrote this, the person who thinks like this, makes seventy-five k a year to write garbage like this. Can you? I mean, I, a man, would I love that job? You know what I mean? But actually, I wouldn't because I wouldn't want to stoop this low. Look. So that's one thing. Nobody that's liking this these tweets, nobody that's liking these Kotaku things actually are going to get the game in the first place. And that's the first thing I think I should say is that, again, people are kind of worried. And it's like, look, oftentimes with these, and, and I'll say liberals, and, and take that for as you will. I, I, you know, I'm not going to go political. It doesn't even really matter. I'm just saying sometimes let's just say sometimes when you have things like this that are going on the lunatics that are like praising this which they are generally left leaning let's not let's not kid ourselves okay but here's the deal they're not going to get the game anyway they're poor they probably live in their parents basement they do all this kind of stuff they aren't going to and i i know okay okay that was maybe a little harsh but they're not going to get the game none of these people actually put their money where their mouth is same with people that complain about movies or praise certain uh let's say like woke things in movies or games you know what ends up happening a lot of times they fail and you want to know why is the people praising them don't actually go to see them they they don't so when people say oh my god this movie is so you know all this stuff and then the movie bombs and they attack the people that were criticizing it going in maybe you should be criticizing the people praising it but that also didn't see it because there really aren't that many people that, that actually believe that. And then the people that are so loud on Twitter and on social media, when they don't go and support it, well, you're like, oh, my dear God, what happened? Well, you know, that's what happened. OK, so that's the first thing. The second thing is, you know, besides, obviously, again, with the whole, you know, the, the misconduct stuff, nothing is the, the George or Orwell thing is coming true. OK, For, you know, all these things are kind of being attacked. If people don't see that, I guess that's that's their problem. The injustice of social justice. So to me, that's maybe, you know, you're focusing so much, you're, you're raising these issues. Now, now, again, I don't know what these videos are, but I can understand even a title like that. A lot of times, social justice, when people are doing those social justice warriors, they can't, they can, you know, be righteous in one way, but they could actually be hurting a lot of other stuff, or they could be hurting themselves. I mean, again, the point is this, you don't have to agree with any of it. If you don't care about the injustice, or if you don't agree with his uh, standpoint on the injustice of social justice, if you don't agree with the, uh, our thought crimes becoming real, which, by the way, they're literally proving his point. This is the same thing we've talked about time and time again. When this stuff happens, when you say, man, you know, if I think a certain way, do they literally become like I mean, guys? Come on, you can see this, right? Literally, our thought crimes becoming real. So this guy thinks a certain way, and he's talking about okay. Well, if I think differently than the mob, than the mass, or than the uh, the supposed mass, because most times they're not actually the the the, the big group. Am I like considered an outsider? Am I attacked? Am I consider is this considered a crime? Well. Kotaku would say yes, because Kotaku literally writes an entire article and attacks you. What's wrong with thinking that? Firstly, what's wrong with thinking that? And secondly, because like, I kind of agree with that. And secondly, even if you don't agree with that, who cares? That's the thing. Who cares? I am not buying this game because this guy made these videos. To be honest with you, though, kind of seems th some of these videos kind of seem up my alley. Maybe I'll buy two copies of the game now. OK, so like that's that's kind of thing. The people that are cheering this people are like, oh, my God, those videos that this guy made, they are disgusting. They were never going to buy Hogwarts Legacy. You're, you're appealing to like 2000 people, whereas millions of people are going to buy the game. You're it's just for clicks okay so yeah i'm getting mad i'm getting very very mad and look it's not like i'm not gonna be able to sleep at night okay like i'm gonna be able to sleep just fine it's not like i'm gonna be thinking about this every single day i don't i honestly people again say oh my god you get you get so into it guys i do like i record like five six seven videos a day to keep up so i can record you know throughout the whole week i move on like directly after i make the video i care about the topics in the moment but like i can't let it sit with me when i make like the next if i talk about batman next i can't like bring this into it right so like don't worry about me don't uh, i would i mean i'm not gonna say don't attack me because i'm sure people will anyway it's 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 how i am right um this is something that while I don't quote unquote care about it, you could say, well, actually, you, you really do. I, I do to an extent of I want to bring awareness to this kind of stuff. What this lead designer, for the most part, did is not wrong. Having a YouTube channel and posting your own content and being an individual is not wrong. If you don't like it, 
that's totally fine. But to literally smear the guy in an entire article and to point out all this stuff and say, oh my god, this is a right-wing thing. Again, you literally proved his point. He posted a video or thought crimes. Again, like that's the biggest one to me because that's the one Kotaku spent the most time dissecting. We're like, oh, it's George Orwell and this is where right-wingers do this stuff. Well, aren't you proving his point? He's talking about being you know, different, basically, thinking differently. And is that a crime? You're literally smearing him in an article. Aren't you literally proving his point to everybody? You are. The only people who don't see it are the people who just are either completely blind or and basically will never see it because they're basically they're like in, in Kotaku circle, let's say. OK, it's it, it's sad. It's really, really sad to me. Kota this is not surprising. Kotaku does this garbage every so often. We call it out. We laugh at it or we get really mad at it. But we kind of move on. To me, it becomes more upsetting when we're again like some of my favorite, the ones that don't go into politics at all, which is good. I don't want that when I'm reading my gaming, uh, my gaming news or my gaming leaks and stuff. Even some of those websites are like reposting Kotaku's thing. It's like I don't want to see that. Now I don't even want to go on those websites anymore. So. Stop reading Kotaku. I didn't. I, know I read this article. I don't go on Kotaku, though. I don't give them the... I don't type it in, like, the URL. I don't do any of that. This was... I think this was sent to me on Twitter, honestly. I don't even think I found this myself. This was sent, or this was, like, added to me. And then I looked in... You know, I clicked on the, the article. Because you gotta, you gotta give it the time of day when it's something like this. And my God, guys, it's bad. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed. Bell icon turn on. I said, so, you know, sometimes these kind of passionate videos fly out of me. So you gotta, you gotta be ready for it. And obviously, the bell icon helps with that if you guys again want to follow me on twitter podcast now 15 is my twitter handle link for that is in the description below thank you all so much for watching i really really do appreciate it i hope to see you all on the next one